everyone back to the podcast this is podcast number six i believe So subscription services like PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, and Spotify Premium can be refunded within 14 days. Even if the subscrip even if the subscription has started, but the refund amount could be pro rata 
I've never heard that word. Have you heard that word before?
had very fond memories of Echo the Dolphin. I love that game, at least from my memories. Another game, Castlevania Bloodlines, which I never played. Yeah, I never played Bloodlines. I've heard about it, but never played it. That was like, I guess when uh, Super Nintendo and Sega were competing against each other, uh, when Super Nintendo had uh, Castlevania 4, uh, Sega decided, they decided to release more for Sega, which was Castlevania Bloodlines. Have you played many of the Castlevania games? Honestly, I haven't. I played a couple, but I never got far enough, and I do appreciate them. And I would love to see I, another one. I played the uh, classic ones on the NES, like Castlevania 1, 2, 3. Okay. So this uh, one. What were you gonna say? Going, going back into that idea, Contra did the same thing too. Mix 
is definitely a way better console choice than the Sony Mini or whatever it was called, Sony, uh, the PlayStation yeah. Classic. The PlayStation Classic. Yeah, because uh, a, a lot of people had, uh, you know, they Sega Genesis Mini from Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, and Best Buy. And it comes with 40 games. It seems like a fair price. It does. Yeah, I mean, as, uh, of course, as they Let's talk about what games you would like to see in the Sega Genesis Mini. I'll start with you. Give me a, a few names that you would like to see on this. Then we'll go to the next topic. I know Street to Rage was not mentioned. Yeah, that's the one. I would love to see. When it comes down to Sega Genesis, yeah. uh, personally, me, Street to Rage is a boss. Like, yeah, that's a must. A very, it's definitely a must when it comes to this. Okay, I'm gonna name one, and you name one. We'll go back and forth, okay? Okay. Okay, so you said Streets of Rage. I definitely agree on that. My choice is the X-Men game that was in the arcades. I forgot the name of it. X-Men, the X-Men one that was in the arcades. What's your next choice? Street Fighter. Okay, that's a great choice. Classic uh, Street Fighter. I'm gonna say one that a lot of people probably wouldn't mention, the Spider-Man game. Oh, God, yes. I remember the uh, Maximum Carnage and Separation Anxiety. Yep. God, yes. God, yes. Please. Please. So what? So what's your next... <laughs> <laughs> you sound very excited for that one. <laughs> Definitely. No, can't, can't have Sega or Super Nintendo without no. What uh, What else do you have on your list? Off the top of your head. I know it's kind of hard.
I uploaded a video that I highly recommend you check out. It's on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's Rage 2 from Pax East. It's a very in-depth look at the gameplay. I don't know if you had a chance to check it out, but if not, I'll send it to you through Messenger when we finish the podcast. So you can check it out. It's fucking awesome. You're going to love it. The next topic of the week. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2 online update. We have, uh, they have added a new Up in Smoke Showdown mode. So, let's see how this works. The object of Up in Smoke is to blow up the opposing team's camp. Each player will begin the match with an explosive package. That they'll need to deliver to the enemy space. Every time the explosives are successfully delivered, a portion of the camp will be destroyed until one team's base has been completely braced. In addition to the new showdown mode, Rockstar is giving players a 30% XP boost on all ability cards this week in Red Dead Online, allowing you to level the cards up to new tier faster. A new selection of clothing has also been added to the wheeler and coat catalog starting this week. Players will be able to purchase the following winter shotgun coat, Benbo jacket, darn stockings, manteca hat. Oh. I'm trying to see when this update released. Did it release already? Yes, an update. Uh, it's already out, I believe. Yeah. It seems like it. Okay. Have you had a chance to play this uh, update? Uh, not really. I haven't been playing Red Dead 2 quite some time. Uh, Same for me. The last update. Um, Does this mean, sound interesting to you? One thing I want. In a way, I mean, the one thing that does catch my ear a lot was that. Is the fact Sounds pretty, 
And I'll send you the, the videos on your messenger. Okay, so the next topic of the week, Black Ops 4. It's free this weekend. No, free this month. So basically... Okay, so... 